welcome to Kelseyard and today we're going to be looking at the stamp tool in Scratch. First I'm going to make a new project and I'm going to call this stamp or repeat and stamp. Repeat and stamp. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at how we can use the stamp tool which essentially creates an exact copy of our sprite at that moment which it will paint onto the background. What's important to remember is that the stamp tool does not make a new sprite. It makes an imprint of the sprite wherever they are. The stamp is a pen tool which we can find in the extensions down here. So if we click down in this section and select pen tools and then you will see all of these are added onto our list of blocks. So they're just added down at the bottom here and we have this one here which is called stamp. So if I click this it will create a stamp of my sprite. Now let me show you that using an algorithm to explain how it works a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a repeat block. After all, this is repeat and stamp. So we're going to repeat and stamp. But to show you a little bit better, I'm going to make my cat move around a little bit. So I'm going to choose some random positions. So I'm going to have my cat move to a random position for the x-axis and a random position for the y-axis. And I'm going to choose between negative 200 and positive 200 because that is the size of our stage. This is negative 200 here and this is positive 200 over here. We'll do the same thing on this one, negative 200, positive 200. The next thing I'm going to do is put a hat on top of this so that when the green flag is clicked, he is going to forever do this. Let's see how that goes. Oh my goodness, that filled up fast. Let me stop that really quickly and so I'm going to put a little weight block inside of there. I'm going to set that to be 0 0.25 and I'm also going to add in a sound because I would really love it if he made a little meow. And of course, when I start, I want all of my previous cats to disappear. So again, in the pen tools, I'm going to use a raise all. And let's see how this goes. That's a lot of meows. Maybe I might make this 0 0.5. And you know what? I think he needs a friend. So I'm going to also choose another sprite. And I think I want a dog. So I'm going to choose my dog over here. And I'm just going to copy this exact same code onto him. And all I'm going to change is instead I'm going to have him make a dog sound, which would be a woof. I actually might make them just a little bit smaller. So I'm going to set them down to be 75. And this one to 75 as well. So they're not taking up so much of the screen. And what we now have is an algorithm for both of them that will keep repeating forever to move the sprite to a random position. And it will leave behind it a stamp and then it will make a sound. So the sprite will keep moving, but the stamp will be left behind. Let's test that out. <laughs> So that's working really well. Um, so what we can see is that if I try to pick any of these up, that these are not actually movable. These are not sprites. These are now drawn onto the background. If I wanted to find my kitty, I actually don't even know where my kitty is now. I think it's this one. <gasps> yes. You know how I can tell? It's just because it's slightly crisper around the outline. Here, this looks a little bit more messy because it's a stamp and this one looks a bit more clear. The dog may be here. Yes, so here is my dog and my kitty. I could also just hide those as well, but none of these can move, but my other dog can. So it doesn't create a new sprite, it just creates a picture of that sprite. And that is for repeating stamps, so enjoy making stamps in all of your future games. I hope you can find some creative ways to use it.